Hello everyone and welcome to another district video. So today we're going to be taking a look at Merkfolk yet again because I wanted to take a look at Merkfolk Tunnel Guide that came with the newest alchemy set. So this is the card in question. This is a 2 mana semicolor Merkfolk card with the stats 2-2. Two, two. When this card enters the battlefield, you get 3 time boon with whenever one or more Merkfolk enters the battlefield under your control. Arc and Merkfolk creature you control explores. So I think this card is going to be incredible in this deck, especially in a deck with 22 land in a collected company shell. This is all possible because we have 4 copies of Shoreline Scouts, 4 copies of Sino Scouts, and now with 4 copies of Merkfolk Tunnel Guide as well. What's really nice about this card, the fact that this puts targeted plus 1 plus 1 counter on any creature, you could also give it to Sibiolan of Sea and Sky as well. So that's going to be an indestructible creature with a bunch of counters, which is going to hit pretty hard if left unchecked. And another change that I made with the Merkfolk list is I took out the Pilgrimage Enchantment entirely because I did want to test out the Merkfolk Tunnel Guide and the card was a little bit too clunky. I'm not gonna lie. Especially with Collected Company, you have a higher chance of missing out on Merkfolks if you play another non-creature spell. And sometimes it just felt a little bit too clunky. It doesn't synergize with Silver Gale Adapt. It doesn't synergize with Shoreline Scout. And it's supposed to be an enchantment that's actually supposed to help you versus a ton of removal spells. But in the end, because it says that a non-token creature has to attack with it. So if opponent is holding on to a bunch of removal spells and getting rid of your Merkfolk anyways, it's not going to generate any 1-1 tokens to begin with. So I have cut it down entirely and going to be trying this version out without the Pilgrimage. So having said that, we're going to be jumping into some historic best of three to show you guys how the deck does. So let's hop on over. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the opposite of what we had. Okay. I am going to keep these uh, double C note scouts though because I need lands. I actually think it's Tashana. So hopefully uh, these Sino uh, Scouts can get us there. Excellent. Yeah, so basically we're going to be the Explore God. We're going to be exploring in Historic. So, I might actually flash in Vodelian Hexcatcher. Actually, hmm. I mean, we... We're gonna be playing Civilian, so maybe not. Let's actually put it on there. It's kind of gas. I am definitely gonna Vodalian Hexcatcher this time around though. Because I actually do want to draw into a Merkfolk. So let us do that. So this is a 2-2 two, two and a 1-2. So I'm going to put it here. Nice. By the way, last turn I actually should have played a Mutavolt, right? Instead of um, the Breeding Pool or Botanical Sanctum. Very nice. Now that is... something else. Yeah, so we started with one land, but 
with the sheer power of uh, exploring with the uh, Simo Scouts, Merkfolk Tunnel Guide three times. Right? That is sick. That is so sick. Gaia's Blessing, they really don't want to get milled. It really didn't want to get milled. I mean, this has to be a combo deck, right? There's no... There's no deck. Is it... Is it a... Like, wh what is this? Like... I mean, they have a Loaming Shaman. Triple Abundant Harvest into... Not much. I actually didn't get to see their deck too much. I can't really tell what kind of deck this is, but I am going to bring a Soul Guide Lantern just in case. I'm not sure about the Larcenist. Maybe I want to bring a copy of a Kyrian. We'll go down on Merkfolk Tricksters. I think that's it. That, uh, yeah, the Tunnel Guide was incredible. Incredible. <clears throat> Merkfolk, please. I think I want to see Note Scout first. I want to fix the top of our deck. Ooh, very nice. What a top deck. What a top deck indeed. attack and play the tunnel guide field of ruin I kind of smell a fatal push if they're, if they're gonna do this no no fatal push hmm I kind of smell a board wipe almost. I'm gonna attack and then Tidebinder on their turn. Imagine if. Okay. Imagine if they feel the Bruin me on my turn so I could Tidebinder and get rid of their land. Oh, that's what they're doing. Is that a land destruction deck? Could be. Yes. Let's play out the Mutal Vault. So I'm actually gonna put it here. I kind of smell a board wipe, right? Kana do? Actually, I probably don't want to do this. Extinction event. This is gonna be odd. Ooh, that's actually pretty rough. Yeah, that was actually pretty rough, isn't it? Yeah, let's attack and flash these two creatures in. The end. The car was too good. It has to be de ended. A funny funny thing is like they, they were actually one life off from casting the end for only two mana.
in case they have something. Probably not, though. Okay, that was the fastest game I played. Man, if this was a green source, this unironically would have been kind of keepable, but... Um... Hmm. This one's an interesting one. I'm gonna try like this. If I don't see a land... Ornithopter. Okay, um... I think I am willing to sacrifice this Mutavolt. Now we'll go Tunnel Guide. Try to see if we can find some lands into... C-Note Scouts to get to the Collected Company. So, the last casket. So, we're- how many- how- how many times are we exploring? One, two, three, four. We're exploring four times. Surely we're we're gonna get a land, right? And we're also um, drawing one additional card, so... Okay. That's pretty good. Looks like we're playing against Affinity. Hishana's Tidebinder. We just kind of want land, right? Fantastic. Nice. Now we can even block the Esper Sentinel here. I'm actually surprised they didn't put the Insole Artifact on the Dark Steel Citadel. I think I will double block here. I think that's an easy double block. I don't think there's like a trick they can do here. I see. Okay, that's fine. They kill one thing, right? You got me. So opponent is actually leaving up a Mystical Dispute mana. Not Mystical Dispute, excuse me, a Metallic Rebuke. Hmm. Is there a Metallic Rebuke here? I think I'm going to C-Note Scout. Okay, there's no Metallic Rebuke. Another Collected Company on top! Ooh. Scion. Wow. Look at this. Yoink. Goodbye, Karn. Nice knowing you. That is a, a blank Karn. That is a blank Karn. An easy double block. Merkfolk. Collect the company. Okay. Opponent got absolutely obliterated by playing that Karn. So, Kite Sail Larceness is an interesting card, isn't it? It gets rid of artifacts and creatures. I think Brazen Borrower can go... I mean, Brazen Borrower... They do play... In Soul Artifacts, so... Brazen Borrower is gonna be good. Kaisel Larsonist is gonna be pretty good. 
Uh, there's a good chance they're playing Emery as well. So I'll bring like a Soul Guy Lantern just in case. And we'll cut some Adapt, I think. I'll go like this. Okay, this is definitely keepable. This is why Merkfolk deck can, uh, in Historic can play a low land count because something like this. It would be actually so sick if we get the tunnel guide here. A double Esper Sentinel. Presenting Metallic Rebuke Mana. Wow, they are offering me a trade here. I feel like I should take that. I'm gonna play the C note scout. I think I'm going to get rid of the Merkvoke Trickster, although it's really good against their deck. Because I need to get the fourth mana as soon as possible. We did bottom this, so hopefully there's a land on top within the next two turns. That'll be nice. The card that we don't want to see here is the Tumana Enchantment. Okay, nice. Very nice. I'll play the Cavern of Souls so it doesn't get countered. I could have attacked, but I don't think they're going to block. Ah, eh, maybe I should have attacked. I need them to tap out this blue mana. Yeah, they have something. Hmm. They have a counter spell. Wait, you, no, you cannot counter this card, by the way. You cannot do that. No, 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 no. Okay, so we have a situation. Um, we can't cast this collective company because they're holding on to a counter spell here. I just wanted to see if they actually had a metallic rebuke. So I just played this card to kind of bait them out um, in their main phase. I want them to actually use tap their mana and especially the blue source. The last casket. Okay, um... They still can hold up Metallic Rebuke here, so... I can't actually... Play Collect the Company here. Now they have double blue source. Nice. My favorite card, Tunnel Guide. I'll attack now.
Maybe I should just... Oh, no. Oh, no. I, for the forces of good. I need a Tishana's Tidebinder. At least they Only tapped the out, though. Right? This is, um... Colorless. Yeah. So, let's actually play this out. No! I'm so sad right now. Wow. Okay, we lost the game. I mean, we haven't technically lost the game yet. We could get double Kaisel Larsenist and hopefully get rid of these constructs. But obviously that was terrible. Okay, well, uh, we can pay for Metallic Rebuke now. Gotta let them draw a card. Okay, um... Oh my god! Okay, Merkfolk Trickster was actually, the, unironically, the best card we could have drawn because it actually does deal with the Construct. Okay, so I... I know I can kill the Construct. But opponent could have like a removal spell and I really want to kill the corn. So I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna kill one of them. And then I'm gonna get rid of the Esper Sentinel here so that I can attack the corn. Yeah, the Tunnel Guide has been quite insane, isn't it? Because this one says this creature gets plus one plus one for each artifact you control. Okay, so they did actually have a removal spell. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, um... I am going to chump the lock here. Because later on, who knows, like... They could kill me in the air, right? So, I just wanna draw here now. Okay, that's a really good card. Wait, how's that revealed? Huh. I mean, we're exploring a lot, so we're gonna be drawing Merkfolk every single time. So, Chump City, I guess? Ooh, what a draw! Okay... We're gonna attack both. Now... I'm scared of another corn coming down. So... I'm gonna pass up on playing the Saviolan here. Or you could have get something like a Thaw Monitor, right? This 
deck is kind of gas. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> well, okay. I wouldn't say this deck. Um, the tunnel guide is incredible. I'm just gonna say it right now. Mm, fine. No one drops, but... Oh no. Please don't be a discovered combo deck. Okay. Oh no, don't be a wizard deck either. No. Okay, this is a problem at the moment. Wizard decks are so difficult. Especially game one. How do we beat a Dreadhor Arcanist going second? Okay. Delver of Secrets. All right. That's a bit scary. Don't transform. No. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Hmm. Well. We take three. Maybe we'll draw land. <laughs> Not another Arcanist. Oh my god. I have the toughest time drawing a land against Wizard X. Why does this only happen when I play against a Wizard Egg? It's so weird. I'm- I'm actually seeing a flashback here. Last time I played against a wizard egg... I had triple collected company in my hand. And I'm seeing a flashback here. My goodness. Yeah, we got one Drehor Arcanist down, hopefully. Okay, never mind. Yep. Yep. Exactly the same scenario as last time. I mean, I guess the problem here was we didn't have any Shoreline Scouts and Note Scouts or Murkfrog Tunnel Guide this time, so... Okay, let's put all these in. <laughs> I'm gonna go down to Shauna. It's like not that great against her deck. Same with the Daps. What is the last cut? Maybe a C Note Scout? Okay, maybe we'll be able to play some game this time. Hopefully. Hopefully, we can play the game here. Okay, I'll land. Nice. Tunnel Guide was such a good, such a nice draw there. So this deck doesn't seem like a pure wizard deck, but rather like a tempo deck. We see Dragon Rage Chandler, we see Dreador Arcanist, and then a Delver. It seems more like a tempo deck. Okay, still they get the Dreador Arcanist. Um, hmm, I think I'm gonna try something here. Let's get rid of the Drehor Arcanist.
I was thinking maybe I should put the make the C-Note Scout into a treasure so that we can have a stern scolding, but Wow. They're hitting face. Very aggressive. Very aggressive. Um, I guess I should put it here. Should I play the uh, Shoreline Scout or hold on to Stern Scolding? I think I should hold on to Stern Scolding here. Very nice. This is so aggressive. Right? That's crazy. It's so aggressive. Okay, Ottawara is unironically Probably the best car we could have drawn there. Interestingly enough. Maybe we attack like this. Leave the Cenote Scout back. This is 10 damage. Yeah, we're gonna pass. Okay, I think we got this game. I think we have this. Like, they would need an artifact, right? Okay, we won. Oh my god, we actually took a game off of them. Off of a wizard egg. It's just like, it's so difficult, right? <laughs> it's so hard. The matchup is just insanely difficult. Yeah, we'll go again. Uh... I hate to keep this, but... You know, I can't go down to five. Come on. Man, so hard. And they transform. So, the Delver is going to kill us. Mm. I'm gonna let this go.
We might actually have to block the... the Delver. Yeah, we might actually have to block the Delver. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Because it does seem like, like, they have a lot of... Hmm, what should I do, actually? Eight? I think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna take one more damage here. That really sucks. That we drew Mutavolt. That might lose us this game. The Great Wall, Kira. So we get so got in turn actually coming in clutch here though. Flame of Anor. Okay, we got rid of, uh, Delver. That's good. Uh, let's see. Let's put it on you. Wait, that doesn't work. That is highly unfortunate. Kira, what are you doing to my creature? Yeah, it's a bit of a non-bow, isn't it? But what can you do? Oh, dear God. Opponent. Uh, can I get a collective company or... Uh... Wow. Yeah, this this matchup is just unwinnable. We tried everything and it's just it doesn't work. Right? It doesn't work. Not bad. Not bad at all. One drop and that would have been that would have been pretty nice. Merc Folk. Playing against Gates. Or not? Did I get punished? No? Okay. Seems like they have a counter spell. Or actually, it could be a growth spiral, actually. Uh, considering that we see Gate, it's. There's a very good chance it is a growth spiral. Okay, it's not. Lovely. Okay. We got double Vodalian Hexcatcher. I so regret not playing the Cavern of Souls, right? Uh, I will decline. Wow. Um. Hmm. It could be a fog deck, actually. Let's play some spell pierces, shall we? And the brazen borrower. And we'll cut. We want to keep all the flash creatures. If it has flash, we're keeping it in. So that kind of leaves us with maybe like. Ah, it's just so crazy to cut this card. Maybe C-Note Scout? Since we're 
Bring in some spell pierces. Okay, let's cut a Merkfolk Trickster. Actually, it could be a Flash deck. I didn't actually think about that. Then I would want the Tricksters, huh? Hmm, interesting. Okay. Cavern of Soul, we keep. Uh, I'm gonna just get rid of that. So I don't take damage. Man, these Merkfolk games are just going by so fast. I think it is actually a flash deck. So how is opponent gonna beat Cavern of Souls? Scoot Swarm. Okay. Now what's gonna happen to that Scoot Swarm? Literally nothing. Now it's just a vanilla 1-1. One -one. <laughs> oh. Snap. Um. This is like the best time to play the Collect the Company, right? Since opponents tapped out. Island, by the way. Island walk, by the way. Oh my god! Okay, opponent. Actually, hold on. How many... We only have one, huh? A lot of tears, huh? Frickin' flood of tears. Um, hmm. Let's play... this and pass the turn actually I'll play the shoreline scout oh my god okay never mind never mind I can't believe it tapped the cavern of souls there you see that that is just criminal Actually criminal. I can't believe it. Now this is gonna get countered, you know, because of the... Tapping the Cavern of Souls. Actually insane. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, interesting tapping there. <laughs> okay, so we played five games with this deck. We went four and one, only losing to Wizard. So far, the only deck that we this deck actually struggles against is currently Wizards in best of three. But there's um, obviously a catch to that. Um, it's pretty early into the season. It's like what, like four days into the season. So what ends up happening is like you queue best of three. Um, it's going to go over the one minute queue time. And as soon as it goes to one minute, the matchmaker just kind of poops itself. So it just matches you up, up against like, like platinum players, diamond players, things like that. But we've been, you know, as you've seen, like we haven't really fought against any like meta decks right so just take it with a grain of salt but theoretically it should be pretty good against non-creature decks so um after losing that game against a wizard deck i have added three copies of chalice the void 
Um, I have noticed that the Kira doesn't actually combo very well with the Merkfolk Tunnel Guide. By the way, Merkfolk Tunnel Guide has been absolutely incredible. Multiple times, I kept like C Note Scouts and Shoreline Scout hands and Merkfolk Tunnel Guide with a one lander, but mind you. And, you know, it worked out. So, yes, we are playing a 22 land deck. It's a bit low for, for a collected company deck. I actually kind of want to even go lower because um, I don't know if you've seen some of these games. Like, I kept a one lander and I just keep drawing lands with uh, these cars. Like, there was a time when I played the Merkfolk Tunnel Guide and then I played Double Sino Scout. That's four times we're exploring looking for a land. That's kind of incredible. So, yes, I am loving the Merkfolk Tunnel Guide. It's not a lord, but it is still putting plus one plus one counters on target creature like especially like if you put it on like Saviolin like that's an indestructible creature that's really nice but like I said I have put in three copies of Chalice of the Void against a wizard deck they play a lot of one drops so um putting this on ch one is going to be pretty nice we do play one mana cars but the thing is if you have Cavern of Souls right our Merkfolk becomes uncounterable. So you play Cavern of Souls, you play these cards, and then you put the Chalice of the Void on the one. So our Merkfolk suddenly becomes uncounterable and Chalice of the Void is getting rid of their countering their like Symmetry Sage, play with fire, consider things like that. They play a lot of one mana cards. So that should slow them down a bit. We have that. We still play one copy of Kira. And then we also play one copy of Sogai Lantern for the Graveyard Hate. Another copy of Brazen Borrower could also go a pretty long way as well. Just kind of slowing them down a bit. That's all you have to do, right? Until you can get the Sabulan down. Against other non-creature decks, should be an incredible matchup. And obviously, Tishana's Tidebinder. Very, very good against other Planeswalkers. Pretty good against like a lot of things. Like There's so many things that you just don't expect that this card can do like opponent Colleams and exiles two of their Colleams and you could counter that and then Colleam won't come out even after exiling two cars so that's another thing you could do um against a control deck when opponent has a field of ruin they sacrifice field of ruin to get rid of your cavern of soul once it's sacrificed you can Tishana's Tishana's Tidebinder and then counter the field of ruin like that will slow them down so much. So, yep, no pilgrimage, right? No pilgrimage. Kind of anti synergistic with adapt, anti synergistic with shoreline scouts. Doesn't pair up well with the uh, collect the company. Maybe that was actually it. Like historic, we don't have ether vial, so like we we do have to play collect the company in this shell, which makes pilgrimage a lot worse compared to something like modern and. By the way, if you're wondering why the Damping Sphere is here, this is for Discover matchup. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. The Wizard matchup is still incredibly difficult, but I think, we've, um, I think we're have I think we kind of heading into a step in the right direction, right? With the Chalice of Void. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.